Welcome back to the Source Garage. This is the ultimate wheel cleaner experiment and this is the real world testing portion. So if you don't know what I'm doing here is I've got 47 different wheel cleaners right now and I'm going to be testing them in every way I could possibly think of. Doing real world testing on the wheels with all these in different sections to show how they compare to one another. I'm going to be breaking down the cost versus quantity of uh, how much liquid you actually get. Looking at the bottles themselves and the nozzles for ergonomics or how they spray. Uh, if it's coming out as a foam, just a straight liquid, uh, if it's a mist of some kind. Uh, looking at which ones have iron removers and which ones don't. And we'll see today how uh, successfully they actually can remove the iron uh, compared to one another or just clean the wheel in general. So today though, what I'm doing here and I got all these tires around me is, so I've taken all four tires off of my CTSV that I'm doing as part of my Project V. These tires don't look like have ever been cleaned possibly by the previous owner nor myself now. And so I'm gonna try and clean them up and restore them as best I can. And it's a good time to test out all these different cleaners against one another in pretty much the worst condition possible. And now what I'm gonna be doing is you can see on this wheel over here is I've got it taped off in different sections. So I'm gonna put a wheel on my Cycloshine stand here so I can spin around and taped off in all these different sections. I'm gonna go one at a time with each of these different uh, wheel cleaners, spray them on the section in a, a controlled quantity. I'm not gonna blast it everywhere. Going to agitate it with a brush uh, after letting it dwell for about a minute and after washing the wheel down so everything's consistent and even across the board. I'm not going to follow the instructions exactly across all these cleaners. Some of them say uh, like let something dwell for up to 10 or 15 minutes. I really want to put them on a, as level a field as possible as someone who's going to grab a wheel cleaner off a shelf, go out and use it on their car. You're going to spray it on, you're going to give it a little bit of time to sit after you probably pressure wash the wheel off, then you're going to want to agitate, have it do its job and get it off. You're not going to want to follow a complex series of instructions. And, and I'd say 90% of these follow that same process of you've sprayed the wheel down, throw it on, let it sit, agitate with a brush and then uh, spray it off. So they all follow that same process for the most part with a few exceptions, but that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta finish taping up uh, these other wheels behind me and all the different sections. Like I said, I got 47 different cleaners here I'm gonna try. I've got stuff as basic as like simple green here. I've got stuff with uh, iron removers in it that's way more, I guess, hardcore if you call it wheel cleaners versus just an all purpose cleaner. And what I'm gonna do, so if you don't wanna watch the entire video for all these different cleaners I'm gonna do, down below uh, in the description of this video, I'll have timestamps for all the different cleaners I use and I'll have it up on the screen what cleaner I'm using at that time so you can see them all and compare them. And like I said, this is the first of a whole bunch of different experiments I'm gonna be doing with all these to really get the most in-depth wheel cleaner guide you could ever possibly imagine. Um, so. That's the plan at least. So I'm gonna tape these up and then I'll uh, get started with the testing process. So real quickly, I wanted to show off the setup here for how I'm doing the uh, testing. So I got the cleaners I'm gonna use here in this segment. Got a water bucket for rinsing off the brush to avoid contaminants between each section. Got my sprayer there to represent my uh, pseudo kind of pressure washer aspect. I uh, got the camera mounted here, which will sit kind of here, looking at the inside of the wheel. Got a light mounted to uh, my whiteboard I have here, which I use for some of my other videos. And I've got the tire, oh, I just kicked the tray. Uh, I got the tire set up in the Cycloshine here in what is actually a dog bath tub, but it kind of sits at the right height so I can do this in my garage where it's uh, quiet and more controlled, no wind or anything, and can spin the tire around as I do the uh, testing here. So I'll set up the camera and uh, get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start here with, I got the, the wheel set up obviously, as I showed you, with uh, spraying down everything. So I've got my uh, solo sprayer here. So I'm just gonna spray down the wheel to kind of simulate sort of uh, the initial washing it off. Now, you typically wouldn't be sticking your pressure washer in from let's say like over here, you wouldn't get it right on the paint. So you're not getting a ridiculous amount of pressure. So this is just gonna serve as a sort of pressure washed uh, light spray. And then we'll let the cleaners do the uh, real heavy lifting of all this. So I've seen an issue as I kind of watched this already that I didn't think about to start with is the water. Uh, you can see rolling in between the segments. So I got my uh, blower here. So I'm gonna use this to get rid of the water to make sure I avoid cross-contamination as I'm actually doing this experiment. Cause then, yeah, obviously I have uh, different chemicals reacting where they shouldn't be. 
So let me blow this out here. All right, so now you can see I don't have a big pool of water here. So uh, let's see, what do we want to start with? Do, do, do. How about Meguiar's Ultimate? It's a good, well-known product here. So, got my brush, got my sprayer. So I'm gonna try and make sure I don't get it on the other sides here. So I got a tiny little splash over on the other side here. I have to try and avoid that in the future. But anyway, once I got this on here, so I'm going to lightly agitate through the entire area here. So I can already see it coming off. So you can see through this brown sludge in here. Just let that sit for just a little bit here. It asks to spray a generous amount of product covering the entire wheel and says let sit for two to four minutes. So I'll, uh, through the magic of editing, speed up time here. So you can see that a lot of the stuff in the middle here came off. There's still some pitting, uh, but for the most part, the middle here uh, looks like it cleaned relatively well. So one thing I'm noticing I'm gonna have to deal with more is the spray onto the sides. So I'm gonna see if I can come up with a solution to try and uh, cover the sides off a little bit better here. So I got some, uh, I may laugh at this, but uh, just one gallon plastic bags here and the water tension keeps them stuck to the surface here. And so I can uh, spray more freely here and rinse off without worrying about contaminating the sides too much. And nobody better nitpick me for, oh, little particles are getting into the tiniest areas. Come on, you're gonna be able to clearly see uh, what's working and what's not. I'm, not. I'm not worried about that. So where did I put my book? So I gotta like, got wash this off. So I got my rinse bucket over here to make sure I'm avoiding contamination. So now you can see it's a bit cleaner than it was before. And now we're going to move on to, this is Eagle One here. Oh, that's nice. So now we're going to agitate this into here. And I think you should do this with any wheel cleaner you use that it says spray and let dwell. I'm always a big proponent of get it, spraying it on and then agitating it so you're really getting it in there as much as possible and not just letting it sit on the surface. So now I've agitated it and it, once again, I will let it sit here. I've got a timer on my side here is how I know I'm actually letting it sit for, uh, uh, so I'm giving it a minute and a half every time. So I'll let a minute and a half go by and uh, we'll see what it looks like after that and I'll agitate one more time. So anyway, you can see the uh, inside's pretty clean like the bags. The end here's still got a good amount of iron. You can I can still scrape up with my finger here, but this part cleaned up pretty well. So anyway, on to the next one. So we got Sonex. Wheel Cleaner Plus. 
And if you see a clean spot right here, this is where I did a test spot earlier. So don't look at this, just we're gonna look at the left side here. Agitate. You can see how really quickly that one's already cleaned up. Done a really good job. But anyway, give it the same time we have the others. So 90 seconds here, let it sit and then be right back. So again, cleaned up pretty well in the middle here. Can still scrape up some iron on the inside here. I'd have to hit that again. But uh, you can see the middle looks like it cleaned off pretty well. Up next, we got Sonax Full Effect is up next here. So this is a wheel cleaner Full Effect, another Sonax product. <clears throat> And we're gonna agitate. And we'll let it sit for 90 seconds. So again, seeing a pretty consistent trend here that the middle area is cleaning up pretty well. You can see how shiny it is. And the back here, not only is it it's darker because it's wet, but you can see the brown tinting back here that we're not seeing up here. So the inside here, the iron is definitely not coming off as much or it's uh, layered on thicker, it looks like at least. So moving on to the next section here. The Nanolex. Wheel cleaner. So this is Nanolex wheel cleaner. And we'll come in and agitate. And you can see it already starting to work here. Now we're gonna let it sit. All right, back in here and you can see all the dark red from the uh, iron remover activating. If you want to know how that works, you can go back to the first video I did in this series where I explained how the different uh, chemicals that are in the wheel cleaners, certain there's a certain iron remover, or I wish I could remember the name off the top of my head now, that uh, activates and is turns red or this purple color you're seeing. And my light just died, so uh, I'm going to need to go plug that in here. But I'm going to rinse this off first. So this one cleaned off really well. I wish I could get the light back on here. So I'll be back in a second with another light. All right, so I got my light on its charger here and can hold it. So you can see the Nanolex looks like it cleaned up pretty well inside here again, just like the other ones. And uh, there's still definitely uh, some residual I'd say on the inside here. So uh, move on to the next one here. So we got a uh, next set. So 
Let me grab that. And we'll uh, let that sit now. <laughs> well, this is the only inconvenience I have to deal with these plastic bags. is isn't too bad. So again, we can see with the next set, most of it's Cleared up pretty well in here. Not so much again up in here. Not a ton of brown here. When uh, I'll do a really in-depth view once this is all done with the camera and some good lighting. So keep moving around the wheel here. So on to Kinotech. So let's have a look. This cleaned up really nice. I can even back up in here. It looks like it's cleaner than some of the other sections maybe. Well, there's kind of a brown haze over the middle here. But uh, looks all right. Keep going around. P-A-W-C-C, -C, as you see on the tape there. Stands for Pinnacle Advanced uh, Wheel Cleaner Concentrate that I have here. So it says you can dilute it for light cleaning, but it's uh, I would use it at full strength here, or at least you can try it here uh, for these extremely dirty wheels. So again, good cleaning here. Definitely a brown tint up here. Maybe not a whole lot of brown tint in the middle here where the iron would be still or pitted in. Anyway, on to the next one. So 3D BDX. So got it here. I'll let that sit. So looking at 3DBX, very similar to most of the other ones. Pretty clean in the middle here, a bit more iron up closer to the front there. And I think we're on our last one here. Move my coverings again. 
Jessicar React Shine. Turn on the sprayer here. Jessicar React Shine. It's an awkward spray. That smells, that is one of the stronger smelling ones. So we got Just Car Reaction here. Again, very similar to what we've seen with the other ones here. Clean in the middle for the most part and some iron in the front still. So what I'm gonna do now to get a better overall picture of this whole thing, I'm gonna spray it down again one more time, blow dry the entire thing as dry as I can get it. Obviously take these bags off and then we'll go through one by one and see if we can try and see anything that actually stands out uh, against the other ones. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Put my light on the side here. And I'll uh, make a little time lapse here of uh, all, what I'm going to go through. All right, so I'm going to kind of rotate this around here. and try and see if I can differentiate anything here. What I'm seeing consistently is extra iron buildup under here and you can see the, you can see the brown. There's a little bit of moisture on my fingers too. And the interior here is definitely cleaner. And it looks pretty similar because there's still some moisture here but you can see the iron that's coming off. So if I hit these again, I'm sure more iron would come off. But really, if I, I can't tell that one did vastly superior than another. If you look at all of these, they're still pitting uh, or these spots of iron on the outside here. There's definitely more iron contaminants build up on the inside here still. And again, the whole point of this was being a real world test and I think I can confidently say that looking at this, and I hope you can see it on the camera too here, that there's not a significant difference uh, between any of these sections here that I can tell. They all had some kind of iron remover in them, I'm assuming. I could smell it on most of them. And that's why I did this one first, so I could see the iron removal. I'm gonna take the camera off here, try and get you a better visual. So as I go around the wheel here, that all of these look very, very similar still. They obviously cleaned off the majority of the iron and my light's dying again. Ah, crap. But oh, here I can go through it all with the light off even. There's just not a difference between any of these. They all have the same pitting and general cleanliness, but there's also brown iron left still up on the inside of the rim. So let me back off the camera and give kind of an overview of everything. All right, so I guess to do kind of a wrap up here, this is uh, the first wheel I did. I guess I might call this part one of the video and try and break this up so it's not one monster thing. So I have all the 10 products over here. You can see where I get the vacuum. It's kind of a mess over here as I was trying to cram everything into the shot here. It got kind of messy. Here's the uh, rinse bucket. If you don't believe I was actually uh, washing out the uh, uh, brush between every section. Um, but really, as you can see on the camera there, there wasn't a difference between 
uh, the cleaners that I used. All these, pretty sure had some iron remover in them. I could smell it. It, it reeks in here right now. Um, and they were all pretty uh, consistent in that I think every section of the wheel would need a second hit to effectively remove the iron off of there. Um, they did a good job at a first pass and obviously removed, I'd say, like 80 to 90 percent of uh, what was there. And it still needs some more to go, obviously, after that. So this was part one uh, with all these with iron removers. A lot of the other cleaners I have don't have iron removers, and I'm really interested to see how well they're going to perform uh, on these wheels that have so much iron embedded in them. I may end up doing wheels where I use an I dedicated like fallout just iron remover on them first. I've got some uh, Meguiar's bottle of that. And then I'll come back after that with all the other cleaners that don't have iron removers in them because that's what you would do in the real world, right? If you had a heavily ironed wheel, you might use something that just gets rid of all the iron and then come back and hit it uh, with a different wheel cleaner. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, I got to tape up all the other wheels still, still um, to do all the other sections of this. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Um, and we'll just we'll see what happens. Like I said, this is the real world test part of this and you saw real world examples. I hope as uh, consistently as I can possibly make them so you can get a good idea of what I'm trying to do here. So if you enjoyed the content, please uh, like and subscribe and follow along as I uh, continue to break down all these uh, wheel cleaners and a lot of other stuff. Thanks for watching. <laughs>